Hello, so this is just a brief video to um, talk about and even show uh, the ClickSense Mobile for BlackBerry offering. Um, be before I do that, I'm just going to spend uh, two minutes on two very simple slides. So number one is um, Click has been working and partnering with uh, with BlackBerry, actually um, even before then with, with Good Dynamics that BlackBerry acquired. And BlackBerry Dynamics is now part of BlackBerry UEM as an overall platform for, for BlackBerry. And we've been working with BlackBerry um, for over three years and before that with Good Dynamics for another couple of years before that. Uh, and the foundation for why we at Click work with BlackBerry is around making sure that we have mobile BI offerings for secure enterprise mobility um, that work based around the principle of bring your own device or BYOD. And BlackBerry is certainly the gold standard in the BYOD market. And we have many hundreds of mutual customers that are running Click, um, either ClickView or ClickSense, uh, and also running BlackBerry UEM platform as it is known now, um, but, but also with uh, Dynamics policies in place for mobile application management. So a long-standing partner, very successful relationship together, and the objective here is to be able to build um, secure mobile BI that's online and offline. That's the objective uh, with, with BlackBerry as a partner. Um, so at the start of 2019, we collectively embarked on a project to build a version of ClickSense Mobile for BlackBerry. We already have ClickSense Mobile as an app offering within the iTunes App Store for users that aren't securing their applications running BlackBerry, uh, maybe just uh, securing running mobile device management platforms, other um, technologies in place in the market. But we recognized the need and our customers, um, our largest global customers, demanded that, um, that Click also produce a version that would work for their BlackBerry uh, enterprise deployments. So ClickSense Mobile for BlackBerry is the offering and it is all about bring your own device as I've mentioned. It works on iPhone and iPad. It works in online and offline mode. Obviously, if you're just online and you don't have a requirement for an app um, and you're okay just using a browser, then, then ClickSense Enterprise has been working beautifully and is certified and supported on BlackBerry Access Browser. But often the requirement is to have a more um, streamlined user experience and an app is, is a far more um, streamlined and efficient way of deploying BI, uh, but also where there are scenarios where you do want to be able to report and analyze offline, then ClickSense Mobile for BlackBerry um, does, does allow that. So it's available now. It was released around the end of May, available now at the BlackBerry uh, Marketplace and works on any ClickSense Enterprise environment greater than November 2018 service release three and BlackBerry UEM from version 12.9. Uh, it's available, as I say, and offered on an annual subscription basis. If you go to the marketplace, the BlackBerry marketplace, then you can initiate a trial. Uh, that's the most seamless uh, way of processing this. Um, your BlackBerry IT administration can provision that trial. And at the point at which that trial is initiated, Click behind the scenes is working on ensuring that a trial license is available for, uh, for the ClickSense mobile offering as well. And your local sales team on the Click side will be able to support that trial. So let's move now to a brief sort of 10 minute demo of some of the features of the app itself. So what you can see on the screen now is my uh, personal iPhone device. Uh, and remember, this is uh, an app that works for iPhone and iPad. Uh, I'm deliberately picking iPhone because it shows the, the app at its smallest um, screen form factor. Uh, also, the device most likely to be in the pocket of a user. Um, so I have a, a folder in the bottom right hand corner, BlackBerry. And inside the BlackBerry uh, folder, I have some ways of accessing and working with Click. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it now, but we also have a, a technology partner called Rocks AI Ping, and they have a ping alerting product. They've also invested uh, time and effort in, in building out a version of ping alerting for BlackBerry. So if your users want uh, data or system alerts or notifications uh, of change uh, from anything in the world of Click, um, then there is a companion app called Ping Alerting for BlackBerry that sits side by side with uh, with ClickSense Mobile for BlackBerry. And of course, on the left hand side, you can see uh, BlackBerry Access Browser, the standard regular online way that your users already will be interfacing and working with, uh, with ClickSense. I'm now going to open the app. I'm entering my password. 
am now logged into my demo instance of ClickSense Enterprise. I'm also using Forms Authentication here. Um, you'll have other methods of authentication and, and the Click Teams um, and your own uh, consultants can support the best method um, of authentication and authorization into ClickSense. I have a series of streams from a demo perspective. Um, I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick the financial services stream and we'll have a look at some example applications that, that we have. Now you can see I'm in a BlackBerry app. I have the BlackBerry uh, navigation browser so I can switch seamlessly from, from business app to business app on my personal phone. You can also now see that I'm in um, the financial services stream and, and in effect this is like a hub view on a mobile device and you can see the apps that I have access to uh, as a user. Differences here, um, the most obvious difference is that you see a little green icon in the top right hand corner of every app and that's helping a user understand whether the app is online, offline or a subset of the app's data offline. Uh, with the cloud, what this means is that it's online access only at this particular point in time. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use the Mortgage uh, Sales Pipeline app, which is the app with the, uh, the little house held in the hands. Um, and you can see, as I said before, it's an online app currently at the moment. I'm going to take this app offline. I'm going to hit on the dot, dot, dot option to the right of the, uh, the, the name of the file. It gives me some more information, some description about the app and what it does. And I have these two options at the bottom, download the whole app or download based on a reduced selection state. Uh, and we'll come on to talk about that in a couple of minutes time, but it's based on bookmark selections. Um, I'm going to press on download to download the whole app to take the whole of this app offline. Okay, that is now completed and I have an option at the bottom in green to uh, the big green button to open offline or I have the switcher so I can switch between online and offline or I can even close this, um, this information panel down on the app and I can now see that the app icon in the top right hand corner of the mortgage sales pipeline application has a little uh, line an arrow pointing down to it. That means that the app is fully downloaded and available offline. If I'm now to tap on the house icon, it gives me the two options to open online or open offline. And I'm going to now open this app offline. So this is exactly the same as the online experience. It's identical to an online experience of, of Click. I have full, uh, full feature access um, to the whole of this application. Maybe I just want to look at my pipeline uh, of mortgage applications. Maybe I want to look at maybe just my, my top couple of uh, sales leaders in this area. Maybe I want to analyze and have a look at just the period of time from May through to, to July time making these selections on the fly. And I can move and navigate around the app and move from sheet to sheet and retain the selection state, always retain the selection state. You can see I have selections of status pipeline, three regional managers and, and four of the months in, in a year at any point in time. And so everything is contextual. Everything works just like any click experience you've ever had before and ever seen before. Um, and from a user experience perspective, it's very, very comfortable for users that are already used to click. If I rotate my iPhone, then I get a, a landscape view. And in some cases, this is maybe better to view some other charts, but I can choose as a user which way around I want to hold my device. And so this is not a snapshot. It's fully featured click sense offline. The click engine is now running on the iOS device and, and powering all of this analytics um, within this application. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the app by pressing the home button again, and I'm going to drop the offline state. So I'm going to click on the dot, dot, dot button and you can see at the bottom, again, I'm, I'm the user. I'm deciding how I want to um, use my space on my device and what I want to keep offline and uh, and drop and, and just have an online experience. I have a delete button there, the trash can. I press on that and I remove the offline state of the application. And now I am back to just having my, um, my cloud icon to show I'm, I'm in online mode when I open this app. Let's open the app again in online mode. And what I'm going to do now is make a few selections based on a, a create a bookmark from those selections and then take a, a reduced version of the application offline. So I'm going to go into the dashboard. 
make a few selections. In fact, I'll make the same selections. Let's go for active pipeline of mortgage offers. Uh, let's pick the top. I don't know, let's pick the top three account reps. Um, uh, we could even zoom into a map and say, just let's work on um, the east coast, for example, something like that, or east and central in that case. And I've made some selections, basically. And at this point in time, with those selections, I can click on the burger menu, the three lines, go to my bookmarks, create a new bookmark, and give it a name, um, top three reps pipeline east central press the tick button to save that bookmark and hit the done now i'm going to clear my selections go to the selections tool and clear all selections and come back out to the start again i've got nothing selected if i now go back to the home screen um, and now i choose to take this offline again this application the mortgage sales pipeline app click on the three dots and now I'm going to press on the reduce button. So I'm not going to download the whole app, but I'm going to download a reduced selection state based on those three sales reps, pipeline, and, and just a subset of the, um, the states of the US. So you can see it's giving me options of the bookmarks that are in the app. There was one that was already there called pipeline only, and the one that I created, top three reps, pipeline, east central. I'm going to select that bookmark and click on the download button. Same process is taking the data offline and the app offline, but only a subset of the data. I then press the X button to come out of the information screen. And you can see I've got a third different um, icon in the top right hand corner now. It's now a picture of a filter. It shows that I'm not seeing the whole picture of all of my global data within this app, but I have made a selection state and filtered on those selections using the bookmark tool and then, and then filtered down on that bookmark. If I open up the app, I open offline, my full view of the data now without any selections whatsoever is of my bookmark selection state. So my pipeline overview chart has collapsed because there's only one segment in there. My sales hierarchy chart, which had what 20 or so different sales reps in there, is only showing Mason, Armando and Dustin. My data is only showing um, Eastern and some of the, um, the central uh, states in the US. I've got no data in uh, this app at all for the West Coast, um, showing that this is the reduced um, offline version. And you can see that in the top screen. But again, fully featured. I can do what I want and go where I want in the context of any selection states I now want to make. But of course, all of these have already been reduced by that bookmark. And that's a quick review of ClickSense Mobile for BlackBerry and what you can do in terms of taking data online, offline, managing uh, data space on your own device yourself and having a great secure mobile offline BI experience. Thank you.